Gusto na po kayong lahat mga kaibigan, mga kapiteran. Welcome, welcome sa ating God's Word for Today devotional. At this morning, ating patuloy ang pagbabasa sa John chapter 16, verses 16 to 20. And we realize that Jesus was so concerned that He encouraged and reassured sa kanyang mga disciples that their sorrows will turn into joy na sana makikita nila na sa bandang huli ay ang saya, ang joy, ang kanilang ma-experience. Let me read to you sa ating talata this morning sa John 16, verse 16 to 20. Sandali na lamang at ako'y hindi na ninyo makikita. At muling sandali pa at ako'y inyong makikita. Ang ilan sa inyong, ang ilan sa kanyang mga alagad ay nagsabi sa isa't isa. Ano itong sinasabi niya sa atin? Sandali na lamang. At ako'y hindi na ninyo makikita. At muling sandali pa, at ako'y inyong makikita. At sapagkat ako'y pupunta sa ama, sinabi nila, Ano ang ibig niyang sabihin na? Sandali na lamang. Hindi natin alam kung ano ang sinasabi niya. Nalaman ni Jesus na ibig nilang magtanong sa kanya. Kaya sinabi niya sa kanila, Nagtatanungan ba kayo tungkol dito sa aking sinabi? Sandali na lamang at ako'y hindi na ninyo makikita. At muling sandali pa at ako'y inyong makikita. Katotohanan sinasabi ko sa inyo na kayo'y iiyak at tatangis, subalit ang sanibutan ay magagalap. Kayo'y malulungkot, subalit ang inyong kalungkutan ay magiging kagalakan. Ang inyong kalungkutan ay magiging kagalakan. The disciples were puzzled by what Jesus said. And we have learned that in the past few days. Bakit ba? Because they don't have the benefit of hindsight like we have. You know, kung nakita ng nila, sana itong lahat, I think they will not be puzzled. But they cannot tie things up because it was something that was foreign to them. This time, they were baffled and the text in verse 17 seemed to, to portray that they were arguing about it, what these words might mean. They were really concerned. They were asking among themselves. Ang phrase that they were saying, I, it is in a tense which implies an ongoing process, perhaps a debate or an argument. They were really discussing about it. But still, they don't directly ask Christ about it. But nalalaman ni Panginoon si Christo ito. At ating nalalaman the other day that without the influence of the Holy Spirit, they won't really grasp all these things. Kaya nga pinapangako ni Panayos Kristo that the Holy Spirit is the Spirit of Truth. Indeed, the disciples ay walang pagkakaiba ng bawat isa sa atin. We have the propensity to only believe if we see. Yung prinsipyo na to see is to believe. But in the Lord Jesus Christ, ating pagsunod sa Kanya, we have to believe even if we don't see. But ito yung sa mundo, unless I will believe, unless I will see, I will I won't believe. So this is the natural tendency natin sa ating laman. But Jesus had noticed about this problem, so he asked them to offer a helpful perspective. Tinanong nila, niya sila, is this what you are asking yourselves what I mean by saying a little while and you will not see me and again a little while and you will see me? Truly, truly, I say to you, you will weep and lament, but the world will rejoice. You will be sorrowful, but your sorrow will turn into joy. Itong sinasabi ni Panginoon Kristo ay mayroong emphasis that this would happen only after Jesus um, will be leaving, leaving them. And ito po ay mangyayari na they will be sorrowful because there will be persecutions, but their sorrows will turn into joy because only for a little while. Because mangyayari na makita nila sa Pinus Christo who is to be resurrected or nabuhay muli sa kamatayan in John 20 verse 19. And it is then that they were so encouraged. 
And then this man, man will begin to fully understand all that will be happening when they will see the resurrected the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. Now let's see about this encouragement that sinasabi ni Banyo sa Christo sa kanila. The gist of this encouragement from Jesus is this, that ang kanilang mga painful experiences, kahirapan, ay maiksi lamang. It is rel relatively brief. And the joy that will follow will vastly outweigh the suffering that they will, they will go through. Ang sinasabi ng psalmist ay ma, ma relate natin dito sa Psalm 30 verse 5 that weeping may tarry for the night but joy comes with the morning. What a beautiful promise. Yes, maybe ngayon you are weeping. Maybe ngayon maram ka mga, mga hinaing. It may endure for a while. Maybe for a night, sabi po ng psalmist, it may tarry for the night, but be assured there will be a morning. The sun will rise again. Joy will come again. Especially sa atin, ng mga Kristiyano, we are looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of our great God and Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. Everything will turn for our own good because ang pinapangako ng Panginoon sa atin is that there is a coming fulfillment sa kanyang pangako. Joy is coming in the morning. So, what should we think and 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 reflect sa ating uh, devotion this morning? Ito po ang ating dapat i-reflect that our perspective of suffering should encourage us to persevere. Kung tama ang ating perspective of suffering, that Jesus allowed it, it's short and it is really for our advantage and the, the Holy Spirit will be helping us through. It should encourage us to persevere, to be patient, to hold on. Hindi ba? Joy follows after pain as in the metaphor of walking through rugged and difficult road that leads to life. Hindi ba? Sinabi ni Panginoon Cristo that there are two roads to take. Enter into the narrow road rugged and difficult, where it leads to life. Mahirap. You know, a life of hardship and suffering. Pero ang dulo is life. Fulfillment of life. Do not follow the smooth and broad, smooth path that leads to destruction. And many ay sumusunod dito, dito sila dumahan. Sana we are encouraged to look the perspective of sufferings in the way Jesus has shared to his disciples here. Let's see that ang ating present suffering cannot be compared to the glory that we will receive later in Romans 8, verse 18. Hindi nga makumpara natin. We look not at the things na nakikita natin ngayon, na natin ngayon. For these are things that are temporal, sandali ang naman. But the things that are eternal, yun po ang ating tinitingnan. Are you looking for the things that are not seen? Are you going to hold on though your outward man is perishing, yet your inward man is renewed day by day? Though we are pressed in every side, according to Pablo Pasa, 2 Corinthians chapter 6, but we rejoice because we have this perspective. Joy comes in the morning. Yes, sorrow we will experience now. Dami po natin mga kapatiran, mga nalalaman natin na they're experiencing some pain and hardships, physically, emotionally, even spiritually. But let's hold on. Let's believe on what Jesus said. Weeping may endure for the night, according to the psalmist, but joy comes in the morning. Thank you, Lord, for this truth. Thank you for this encouragement today. Help us to endure. Help us to have this proper perspective so that we will persevere and be patient, Lord, in our lives. We have to look into the end of things in order to be encouraged, Lord, to hold on, to not um, take ease, but be, be, be steadfast and unmovable in our lives. So bless this to our hearts, not only for today, but every day, Lord. Thank you for this 
great encouragement. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you.